So let's say 40 to 50% is, is the percentage okay. of divorce, right? Yeah. How, what's the percentage of people that stay together because of their kids? 20%? Um, hard to know the number. Unhappy? Oh, yeah, yeah, but we're going to guess. It's hard to know the number, obviously, yeah, because it's based on emotion. It, it, you can't measure it. Could, it. It, could be a, it, could, I, I, it could be up to another 50%. I, I would... Uh, 100% you're saying... Uh, no, I said it could be up to another 50%. So that means people know. unhappy and people that divorce is 100%. I would no, say no, 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 no. I, I, meant, I meant another 50% of the remaining. Of the remaining, 50%. yeah, so 75%. Yeah, yeah. So now you have a system that does that is going to fail 75% of the time. Mm. Do you see how marriage is just dated? I feel like it's in, uh, divorce know, is inevitable and yeah. unhappiness is inevitable I, with the institute of marriage. Are you... Um, do you have any religious faith? Um, I was born a Muslim. Okay. I went to a Christian school. Okay. Uh, so I'm very mixed, okay. uh, but I do believe in God. Okay. Very but religious. You're, you're, you're very religious? Religious, I or believe in God. You believe in God, but you don't... You don't, you don't yeah, I come from a Muslim follow, family. But you don't particularly follow... A, but I went to a Christian school. Yeah, but you don't really subscribe like to a particular... I don't know how to pray. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I do okay. know how to pray in the church, yeah. but I don't know how to pray in the Muslim way. Yeah. Okay. So the, the, re- the reason I ask is because, to me... Um, and I, a lot of re- most religious people would agree with me, regardless of their faith, is that in the absence in the absence of religious faith, I would agree that marriage as it currently stands doesn't really make a lot of sense, mm-hmm. right? To me, marriage is a it's supposed to be a religious institution. Some people might argue against that, whatever. When you totally secularize marriage, you inevitably end up with what we currently have in these type of statistics. Right, because at that point it's simply a governmental contract, which, depending on the laws, one party might even be incentivized and rewarded for breaking. So, if that's the case, and people don't view it as something that is, if people just view marriage like extended dating, then of course you're going to get a 40 to 50 percent divorce rate, uh-huh. right? Just like you'd have in a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, uh-huh. right? It's not that deep. If you view marriage as a commitment, a, a covenant between yourself, your wife, your families, and God, right, till death do us part, and that's your true view of marriage, and both people believe that, then the divorce rate now drops under 10%. Yeah. If both people truly, truly believe that and you have that bond, mm-hmm. right? That's, there's many communities where the divorce mm-hmm. rate is under 5%. Of course, right? India. Exactly. So... But I'll tell you the thing with sure. that. The Indian one is not tied to religion. It's tied to family. Yes. Because, because they're all, you will marry my sister's yes. daughter, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. The, 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 the families skin and, marry skin the each other. Exactly. Why would I leave her or why yes. would I leave him when my mom and her mom are best friends? Exactly. I'm breaking up the family. I exactly. can't do that. So you have multiple But they're layers. still unhappy. Yeah, well, some, some are. But here, look, not everything's about happiness. Hmm. That's a silly Western modern viewpoint, hmm. right? Not everything is about happiness. We talked about duty. Duty, honor. Some things are bigger than your own happiness. Happiness is fleeting. Mm. <laughs> right? Happiness is fleeting. Right? What about purpose? What about meaning? What about what is... Look, the point of marriage, to me, obviously, covenant before God, but also to create the ideal environment to bring children into the world. Right? Like, children completely change the thing. Right? So, even that conversation of, should parents stay together because of the children? Barring something, an extreme situation abuse, you know, infidelity, complete abandonment, that type of thing. My general answer is, yes, they should. Hi, sir, how are you? I'm fine, I'm good. Are you good? <laughs> uh, three cocks? If you were to have kids tomorrow, yeah. would you send them to school? Would I send them to school? Would you send them to school? Like versus homeschooling? Versus oh. YouTube, homeschooling, online courses, oh, okay. um, home teaching. In Dubai, yeah. In Dubai, you send them to school? Yeah. If I were in the US, I'd consider homeschooling. Mm. Because well, here, 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 I think there's, there's, the schools are fine. I don't need to worry about them being heavily indoctrinated into some nonsense or anything like that. I, I would believe in sending kids to school in like a kindy, primary school, and maybe high school, I would do homeschooling. Mm-hmm. Because primary school <clears throat> and kindy, you're mostly learning about how to interact with other kids. Mm-hmm. That's so Australian to say kindy. That's hilarious. What do you guys say? Just the way Preschool? the way Australians <laughs> and everything, veggies, brekkie. brekkie. I, n- I never heard kindy before, so I knew what you meant by yeah, it, but yeah. I've never actually heard yeah, someone yeah, say yeah. it. So yeah. it just made me laugh. I was like, "That's very Australian." How long were you in Australia for? Just three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. Which city? Sydney and Melbourne. Sydney, and Melbourne. Yeah. Okay, nice. How'd you like it? It was okay. It's okay. Yeah. I mean, I enjoyed the trip. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. live there. No, absolutely not. Would yeah. you live in London over Sydney, and Melbourne? Yeah. Wow. And I don't like London. It's too far. 
It's too far. You're too disconnected from the rest of the world. So disconnected. It's too, it's too far away. And, and I live in the most isolated city in Australia. Perth, right? Perth. Yeah. 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 A little easier to get to, but... I mean, Jules is from isolated. Adelaide, which is mm. like the second most isolated city in the world, you know? Yeah, no, it's, it's too far away from everything, the time zone difference, and, and it's very similar to the UK. It's yeah. the most similar country to the UK I'd been to, besides Ireland.